Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary chicken nuggets. Here's the deal right now. The major cold front came in, and we're down to some really cold weather. Usually, we're at, like, in this winter time, we're at, like, low 25-ish and high 45, something like that. But a major cold front came in. It's, like, more than a cold front. Where it's down... So today is the coldest day. The low is negative nine and the high is only two degrees. Right now it's negative six and it feels like negative 30 because there's an 18 mile per hour wind. But I'm gonna go out there. So I had left my coat in the car and I went out there to go get it. And turns out, well, obviously it's like freezing cold out there. Like it's, I walked out there. I felt some, like it was hard to breathe through my nose because it felt like, it was too cold, like my air didn't, my breath didn't want to be breathed, that cold air. I didn't want to breathe that cold air. So that was one thing. And then another thing was my nose, my nose hairs or something in my nose, I could tell started freezing towards the end. And it was weird, but I'm gonna go out there and maybe just mess with some snow and tell you guys how it feels. So this is what it looks like out here. It looks like a normal snowy day, but it's immensely cold. Honestly, it doesn't feel too freezing. It's just getting easier to breathe out here. But man, it's pretty, it's cold and it's windy. So remember, it feels like negative 30 out here. Let me get some snow. It's not packable at all. Thumbnail, watch this. I don't know if that works. I, I can already feel something in my nose is freezing it. <laughs> my conclusion is that probably don't go out there very long unless you want your nostril your nostrils to start freezing and something to happen probably get some kind of like hypothermia or something it's not very fun but yeah it's cold the next thing is i'm going to be doing an experiment i'm going to be seeing how long it takes for water to freeze out there because it takes 32 degree weather for stuff to freeze but it's negative six so that's plenty to freeze so we'll see how long it'll take a normal drinking cup and see how long it takes for it to freeze so i've got a cup of lukewarm water a little bit warm water and it's filled up it's a cup i measured it it's exactly a cup so i'm gonna set it out there okay let's go outside okay i'm ready i'm gonna set it right outside here Get a little bit into the snow. And that's where our water's gonna sit. Now watch it from the window. 14 minutes in and the water is still moving down there. It's still wobbling around, so that's not much progress. We're getting progress because it's not moving by the wind anymore. So hopefully that means it'll be freezing some. It's like 25 minutes in. It finished freezing with a time of 44 minutes. There's a little bubble inside there. It's completely solid. So yeah, I wanna see, I wanna break it out now and see if I can get a solid chunk or something. Actually, I found that I can do that. So maybe it's not fully frozen. Let's see. Okay, it wasn't frozen solid, but it was close. Interesting. Another kind of goofy thing is the the high for today is only gonna get two degrees at three to five p.m. So I guess that's gonna be the warmest part of the day. So I guess I'll enjoy two degree weather. Also, we just got a new Christmas tree, so I'm gonna give you a little preview of it. my little music video for the tree and that's pretty much what all i got for the vlog today so i'll see you guys on the next one mm -hmm.